It is a pleasure for me to introduce to you some exclusive early footage of the first Descendant. Now, people want my opinion, they want to know how good is this game, is this the Destiny Killer? Anytime a brand new looter shooter comes out, people ask that question and it is so overused, but it's still quite interesting to think about it. Can this game take the throne that Destiny sits on? Well, that is for you to decide as you watch the gameplay. I will let it speak for itself. As for me, I am on the side that believes that any game that can give competition to Destiny 2 is great because that allows games like Destiny to reach the full potential and also for the first descendant to be something magical. Now, we are gamers, the more awesome video games out there in the market for us to play with, the more entertainment we get to enjoy, right? So I will let you dive into the gameplay, enjoy it, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, peace. What is that, yo? Got him on die. Get a shield. Five for ten. Oh, it's more gas. Oh, oh, old arm, arm actually. Yeah, I'm not even crit. Use your ability. I'm hitting crit on the head. Though. As you play the game, you are going to become familiar with three weapons that you like to play with. So I like the handgun. And as you look at the weapons, they give you a bunch of information as how many rounds per magazine. If they're impact rounds or general rounds, it tells you if it how much damage it does, if it does demonic attack. For example, my self-machine gun has a flame attack and my rocket launcher has a flame attack as well as a electric attack. Now, if you see the glowing little line here on the side, whenever I hover over a weapon, that's the runes that you can connect it to. So for the hand cannon, you take a look at the wave rune. And here you have options of choosing different runes that can tailor to your playstyle depending on what activity you're going to launch into. One here, for example, is called wave. Defense expert, it's a tier three. And that's gonna come in tier two, tier one as well. And you have many, many, different options to choose from. So one here, for example, says on kill, you get an increased defense by 145% for three seconds. Effect can overlap up to two times. Now, if you're a player that wants to be a little bit more tanky, obviously that would be very, very helpful to equip. If I take a look at my submachine gun, there's a rune dedicated for submachine gun type of weapons that we hover over this one, the storm rune. Rune effect applied when using assault rifles, submachine guns, and handguns. So that's going to combine with that and we can improve the weapon's performance. You can even go as far as customizing the runes on your actual character called the descendant runes so you have all these options here and you can go through this to see how you want to customize your character and how it should perform inside of the gameplay so i went with better defense here i have other options such as selective recovery it helps my recovery efficiency on roll fire rate is increased for 4.6 seconds and even more options as you play the game you can even customize your melee attack rune with various different options so for example i went for the dual claws because it looks super sick <laughs> Now that we took a pretty quick look at my weapons, the runes, you know, the traits that I'm going with with this character, I want to go ahead and put it into action and see the damage that we can do. Can I not reload forever? I gotta pick up stuff and put it in there. Is it health? Yeah, I'm picking it up right now. We need to put one out of five. How do I even put this shit in here? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Do you interact with it or something? Is that how we put it in? Trying to res you? Oh my god. Can I res? I'll put a healing. Oh, 
There's something we gotta pick up here. We're three out of five. You just put pick it up, I think. Like, it doesn't exactly even show, like, a, a status effect. Wow. Me. Making sure I take advantage of all the um the runes available to my disposal. Gotta collect ammo. Yeah, I'm at like 70 now. Alright, I got more ammo for the handgun now. This thing is so satisfying to use. It is so satisfying shooting the guns. Yeah, I love those throwing this. I want to take a second to take a look at all the different characters. They all seem pretty unique with their own characteristics, designs, right? And they all can do different things inside of battle. They come packed with different abilities. And it looks like we'll get to play with 10 characters once we play the beta this October 10th. So the character that I'm primarily going to focus on throughout my gameplay was the one that really called out to me. Um, she looks sick, but she also has like electric effects which kind of fits, you know, the bolt of, in my name. We had a cutoff beam, after camo, shock nuts, lights out, and then every character comes packed with a passive skill as well. So for example, mine says that I get a damage increase by 8% when attacking an enemy that is not targeting Sharon. So if I'm camo, and my teammates are getting shot up by ads. I'm doing damage to all of those ads. Um, and it'll be pretty, pretty chaotic in that sense. Because then I'll get all the attention. <laughs> As I go through the characters here, I can tell they all have, you know, unique designs. Some of them are more focused on being more defensive. They have way more shields. Going to be better with their abilities. Some of them are more tailored to being more aggressive in front of the enemy face. Miss all the chaos. And we even have support characters that are help at that help at getting your teammates back in action or staying in action. Oh, that looks like a boss. What is this? Ooh, Colossus appeared. This place is sick. Six seconds at the beginning. Yo, this area looks so sick. This is actually sick. Okay, that is just. Whoa. What is this? <laughs> this pistol's full auto. What is this? All right, he's immune. He's immune. This what the hell is that? Yo, he looks crazy. Yo, the back, there's like a blade and I get a crit. Am I getting crits for this life? Dude, he's destroying the map. Oh my god, he's wrecking, he's wrecking me. I'm running away. I'm dead. <laughs> On his back, there's like Ooh. crit damage. Master, are you able to get back up? I'm gonna rip no. him. Cover me. Oh, 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 I'm dealing with. Run, run, I'm dead again. I'm dead again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was one shot. Did you find more? No, I'm dead too. Is this normal? Nah, I mean, no. this is normal, but I think we're uh, a little under level four. <sighs> Look at his health, bro. It's not going down. Yeah. I'm gonna snipe him. I need to do oh. something specific. What is he doing, dude? Wait, he he doing? just teleported. Yeah. Is that a wipe? Oh my god, what was that? Oh, Everything is burning! Everything is literally burning. How do we not burn? Oh, damn it. Yo, he's going crazy! Oh, dude, I'm dead again. <laughs> I think there's a mechanic. There's no way his health is full. Because, yeah, we don't do damage anymore. We can grapple. Oh, well, forget. Oh, true. Damn. Dude, the map is destroying. Yeah, he's destroying his map. <laughs> I can't. I can do damage now. I'm dead. 
Nice bunny ears. Yeah, the rest. I'm gonna use ability. Dude, he is like, oh my god, he's strong as hell. I'm getting 2k damage. I was getting 4k like arm is blowing. I also think we might be a tad bit under level for this. Because it is a level 46 activity, 46 activity and we're level 40. I'm oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely on their level. Let me see what happens when I abandon. Can I just respawn? Oh yeah, just shit! Respawn. There's, there's, there's oh, a death there's a death counter. Okay. Ooh. I get to you guys right now. He disappeared. I'm getting you. Wait. Oh. Intercept, Intercept failed. failed. Damn, that was hard. It was a cool boss Before though. Below rewards participation in the battle. Okay, so we got some sort of currency for Ooh, just, just for participating. Good. Yeah. Oh my, look at him. Yo! Shoot the arms or the shoulder. Yeah, it is a shoulder. Yeah, the shoulder. Oh, yeah, we stun him. Like, so I don't use a super. Okay, he's getting melted. Nice, nice. Oh my god, what is that? Hurt his arm again, I guess? Is he still again? Yeah. We're messing him up. <laughs> is that the easiest yeah, one? Wreck, brother. Yeah, yeah easy he one. just got bodied. <laughs> Holy loot though, are you guys seeing all this? Hey, yeah, yeah. Yo! Yeah. Oh my god, there's so much drops. What? Okay. <laughs> oh. I guess we can sell the guns too. Now, my play session has come to an end, but I am looking forward to seeing what else this game has to offer. I'm going to be playing the Steam beta test and you should too, so we can be some of the first people to play the first Descendant experience, a game that plans to be on all platforms. This game will launch in 2023, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you in the next one.